Hello, everybody. Today we are finishing Dr. Mario World. That is crazy to think about. But I have completed every single level in this game. With three stars, I guess I could add. Not just every level. Every event. Clinic event, every uh, skill summit. Every special stage, every bonus stage. And these are the final six levels of the entire game. So we're going to be seeing the ending. We're going to be seeing it all. So, this first stage here honestly probably took me the most tries. Um, the fact that there are four different colors you can have was really annoying, especially towards the end of the stage. I basically just had the same experience every single time except for the final part of the stage. So it got to be pretty annoying to have to play it over and over again and have the same experience over and over again until we finally got to the final one and was able to beat it, but... Um, you also gotta make sure you know you're ending with a good amount as well. Because, especially, like if you bring in Wario, you're still not ending with that many uh, capsules. And also, I neglected to mention, but I did bring in King Boo for this one. And I did get him to trigger. I used a couple of his, uh, his capsules. But to be fair, I ended up using a bunch of capsules at the end that just didn't have the colors I need. So, all I would have needed was the correct colors and the game wouldn't give it to me. So, anyways. We get to the end here, we have one more electric bomb, which we can use to destroy. And I also want to hit that green, but it... I would have actually ended with 7, which would have been nice, but um, all I would, I would have had to have done is place those greens down first. So technically I could have beaten that without King Boo at all. Uh, I just kind of uh, got rid of stuff in the wrong order, because if I got rid of the green one first, there would only have been 3 viruses left, and then uh, the electric bomb would for sure have hit the last few, uh, last 3 viruses. Sorry. And this one here, all you're going for is the yellow viruses. So, uh, but that's not true. You are also going for the per uh, pink coins, and that virtually means you have to get rid of all of the reds as well. Uh, even though it doesn't say you have to, y you will. They're going to help you clear all of the blocks, and then the final set of blocks are actually necessary to clear all the reds surrounding it. So. Um, you can get these blocks here in a, uh, you know, in a few different ways. The rest of the viruses from now on are going to be iced, so you won't have to worry about going back to any of the blocks because they will just get destroyed by getting rid of everything regardless. But at the very beginning, some of those blocks will have some more hits in them, and you can decide how you want to destroy them however you'd like. Um, this one's really not that difficult either, and I'd say... Wario is almost definitely the best character to bring into this one as well. You just kind of have to keep going. And I think the yellow virus that's in the middle three columns uh, alternates back and forth. So you could keep that in mind as well if you're trying to figure out how you want to clear the next section. I typically would go the opposite way that that one was. And then uh, destroy it from underneath. I typically just enjoyed doing that a little bit better. I thought it was a better strategy, but maybe it doesn't matter all that much. And then we start destroying this final section here. We're at this, this the stage just stops scrolling. We're at the end of it here. And I'm gonna work from this way, like I said. Getting rid of that yellow and then destroying all the reds down here. I'm about to get Wario's skill as well, I might add. Um, and then if you have a double yellow, it's going to work out great to destroy both of these at the same time. And then I use that yellow capsule to just uh, place red capsules on top of. And we destroy everything with three stars already. So, another one that went pretty great. And then we're going to move on to the next one here. I don't remember what this one is about. Oh, yes. This one's going to take a while, actually. It's one of the ideas that they've come up with in the 
in this last world here. I never saw it implemented before. But basically having these um, extra capsule pieces locked in here allows you to um, allows the, the developers, I guess, to have blocks that will disappear over a certain amount of time. Which is pretty smart, actually. Um, I feel like what they could have done is just made them, like, green uh, extra capsule pieces, and then just not give you green capsules. I don't know if their engine or whatever would allow them to do that, but I feel like that's another opportunity they could have done, where it's just impossible to clear it. And it would work virtually the same way, I guess. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter, but anyways. I feel like there are a few different ways they could have done it, but I think it would have to be with specifically the extra capsule pieces, so. Um, it's also another stage where you could probably play it, like, forever. Because the flasks are also going to be spawning in um, some extra capsule pieces. It also spawn in viruses, to be fair. Uh, but it spawns in both. And what you're waiting for is for the reds to all get destroyed, and it'll go around in a circle. And then the yellows will all be destroyed at the same time, and the blues will all be destroyed at the same time. And then the whole stage will be open, and you can go wherever you want. The the way it's set up, it's actually pretty simple to destroy the the floating viruses that are in between the blocks because you can see the reds kind of create an opening for you to wedge a double of a sp specific color in between there. If I'm slurring my words or if I'm stumbling over them, I'm uh, especially tired. Oh my gosh, I am especially tired. Um right now, but I'm trying to get this recorded so I have it ready to go up in the morning. Um, anyways. You should theoretically be able to just play this level and not have to worry about really um, getting a game over or running out of capsules or anything, because you should just constantly be getting extra capsule pieces that you can destroy. Um, and that might just mean throwing down a bunch of capsules all at once. Um, I would personally suggest just continuing to try and destroy as many viruses as you can. Obviously you won't be able to destroy everything. Um, and it'll be a lot easier once the, the entire stage is open as well. Um, and you might mess yourself up too. Like right now I can't really destroy any of those viruses on that uh, wall there. I kind of just messed it up too bad. I, actually that's not true. I could get rid of those, that red and that yellow capsule. Um, I, I don't think I end up doing it, but I, I could have. They can just destroy the other stuff in the meantime. Again, there will be some viruses spawning in um, from the flasks, which I do think are required to actually beat the stage. So, you know, keep that in mind too, but those are usually pretty easy to uh, clear in this section of the area. Sorry about that. And... We've gotten rid of the yellows now, and you can see how much more open the stage is at this point. And now I'm going to start trying to clear some of these final floating viruses. And you can see the the score requirement is not too high, actually. And you should be pretty close, if not already there, by the time you're done with the stage anyways. And you'll have a good amount of capsules remaining, I would assume, as well. Um, and with just seven capsules left, you'll have all of the... Uh, all of the extra capsule pieces gone, and there are blue coins behind them, so it is actually required that you at least use as many capsules as there are um, blue extra capsule pieces. And then once you get through all that, you'll just have whatever viruses you have left. In my case, I just have that final one there. And we already have three stars without even counting my extra points, but we're just looking here. We got to 90,000, which is a pretty high score, just in general. And now we move on once again. Only a few more stages left to go. That's crazy. Uh, this one took a few tries as well. Um, it's possible to get a game over in this one, so be careful. This is maybe the only uh, scrolling stage where when it scrolls, it scrolls like um, a few at a time instead of just like... It scrolls like a section at a time 
instead of either scrolling after you clear a certain amount or scrolling one level each time you bring out a certain amount of uh, capsules. So I don't think I've ever seen it scroll a specific way. Uh, but there's only red and yellow stuff, so that makes it a little, sim uh, a little simpler to do. And this section here actually gives you a little bit of time to catch up because the bombs just destroy everything in its path. And then you should be a little bit better caught up to get to this next sections. The barrel one's going to be particularly annoying to get through. I'd say it's actually pretty... You've got a good chance of not getting a game over. But you do end up getting pretty low on capsules at the end here. Uh, so you do have to be a little smart on what you're doing here. And then hope you get good luck with the flowing viruses towards the end. And you can see the stages stop scrolling, so once you get to this barrel section, um, you don't have to move as fast anymore or be as careful with your capsules. Um, and there's a good amount of stuff you can destroy with just a single bomb, so make sure not to waste too many capsules in that section either. And then you gotta start destroying the floating viruses. And then there are also purple coins that you're gonna have to go to. Seriously, go for the purple coins right away. Do not wait for them until you've destroyed the majority of the, the viruses because you're going to need those viruses to clear those purple coins. So you need to hit all of those uh, ice virus, uh, ice floating viruses in between all the cage coins here, just once, so that the next set of purple coins will open up, and then you destroy all of those that you were just working on. Um, hopefully you don't get anything spawning. Uh, in your way, like that yellow one was, because that's just going to be annoying later, but then we're, you're going to want to destroy the next set of purple coins, and this section you might really want to focus on the purple coins rather than the viruses themselves, especially if you only have a couple left like I do. I believe I'm about to get Wario's skill again, so that will help. Maybe not. Oh, I guess I'm not. Well, anyways. We got a bunch of yellows at the end, which is really nice. Like, it's kind of crazy to think I got, like, three double yellows at once. And if I needed reds, that would have been really unfortunate, but thankfully I did not need any reds, so... We are able to move on from that one, and we're at the final normal stage, and Toad is preparing us for this. This is the final battle, basically. And, um... This one's super easy to get a game over on towards the end. Well, actually... At any point, it's probably fairly easy to get it, but especially towards the end, it's really, really tough. And I got a game over, like, a lot. I play this stage a lot, and it's the same every time. And every time, I was just barely not able to clear that section, so it was pretty frustrating. But finally, on this one, I was able to do it. I probably should have just brought another doctor, but I was being a bit frustrating. Um, I, I guess I'm just happy that it's, it's done with now. But there's really not a lot of rhyme or reason to what I'm doing in this stage. It's basically just, I see a color, I'm going to destroy it. They're giving you more than enough capsules, I assure you, especially if you bring in Wario. You're not going to get anywhere near running low on capsules, so do not be afraid to throw stuff down. This is basically like a time stage, but you do actually need to be careful with the amount of um, capsules you're using, because that does affect how the stage scrolls. So you can't just have a bunch of stuff thrown out, um, wasting a bunch of stuff uh, in the long run just because then the stage will scroll too much and you'll get a game over. So you do need to be somewhat conscious even though, again, you're not going to run out of capsules either. It's less of a worry of running out of capsules and more of a worry of the viruses catching up to the um, top of the screen and getting you a game over. And some of these power-ups will definitely, not power-ups, like items, will help you to get through these sections. And then once you get through here, you can see there's some bomb sections which help you to catch up a little bit again, just like the previous stage. So the stage kind of allows you to destroy these nicely, get back to the very bottom of the stage. Usually I was doing better at this point, which is kind of surprising to me that I actually was able to beat this. I don't know what necessarily constitutes... Um, that, but I guess I brought out a similar amount, a similar amount of capsules. It's just I was not able to destroy some of them in the 
previous section. And right now you can start lining up some colors that you have for these uh, barrels here. And that uh, shell will open up the, the barrels covering the blocks. And the blocks will all get destroyed as you destroy these. And then you're going to want to start clearing the bombs. And once you get through the bombs, and this few rows of capsules is going to be what makes or breaks your run. Um, if you're able to clear it all, you win. And if you don't clear it all, uh, you're going to get a game over. And it's going to be very close no matter what, unless you bring in like um, a dry bowser or something where he just gets rid of the majority of viruses for you. And it's not going to be a big deal at all. Uh, but you really just have to be as careful with, as you can. You know, if you can get any rainbow capsules to destroy multiple uh, different colors, that would be great. I feel like I was trying to go fast, but it really doesn't matter all that much, the speed. Right here, I was super worried that uh, that one red capsule was going to give me a game over. It says thank you here, and once the thank you moves, there's just one purple coin at the end. Which is really funny that <laughs> the, after all this stuff you've cleared in the stage, all that really matters is this one purple coin at the bottom of the message here. So I figured there's no way I was going to clear it, so I was just going to get a game over if it forced me to, but luckily I didn't. And I don't care about any more points, so I just went and got that purple coin. It was a nice thank you message there. And clearly we had enough points to get three stars. So that was the final normal stage of the entire game. There's the dazzling metal. We're going to clear all these coins here, and the viruses are gone for good. Besides the special stage, I guess. But we have destroyed everything. And we get a nice little ending screen here, which you're about to see. Um, as well as some new music that we hadn't heard before. I assume this is from a different Dr. Mario game that already exists, but still. Um, we're going to click back on this in a second, so I'm not going to try to read it at the moment. I don't know if there's anything more, so I just clicked. But You can see that message just by scrolling to the side uh, whenever you'd like. It says, Mario and friends have reached the end of their journey and taken back their world, freeing it of viruses. And that's the entire story of the game, but that's a really nice screen. You're getting to see all the doctors we've collected over the course of the game. It's just kind of cool to see. And it was nice to give us something, some sort of feeling of an ending. And then the final stage here. It's, a, again, another stage where it's possible to get a game over if you're just not being careful enough. I did actually get a game over on my first try on this, but this is my second try here. And it's basically the same kind of idea. It's going to be the same layout every single time. So I guess you can understand how to do a little bit better the next time you play it. Uh, but it, the idea of it is kind of just like they threw down random stuff. It feels almost like they want to feel as random as possible and if that was what they were going for they definitely achieved it um, I really don't have anything to say about the special stage uh, the last two stages in my opinion were pretty uh, lackluster I don't know I don't know what I've wanted more than that but considering they are the final two stages in the entire game um, it would have been cool to see some exciting moments or fun ideas. And it really just feels like a cluster of viruses and you trying to use as few casts as possible to make sure you don't get a game over. Um, and the fact that they both had a similar kind of idea where that was it. They give you plenty of capsules to beat the stage and you just have to keep up with it. I don't know if that's the best ending for the game. Um, but it is the ending of the game. You can't change that. I'd be curious to know what you guys think about that. If you think it was a satisfying ending. I mean, it was really nice of them to give us one final world. They didn't have to give us another one, but... They ended with 31 worlds. They gave us a lot. And I know people are like, oh, it ended too soon. 31 worlds is a lot. And there were events every other week, you know. There was a lot of content for this game, considering that it didn't do all that well. Um, 
I think... I think it's a, probably a pretty good time for it to go, if I'm being honest. Um, it is really sad that they're not making it offline. I don't really understand how difficult that could possibly be, or why wouldn't they? Honestly, I'd rather just have them do that, put their effort in. If I decide between getting it one last world and having them make an offline uh, version of the game that you can play forever, I think I'd prefer to have an offline version of the game. It's really sad that they're just kind of making it impossible to play after November. Um, I don't know, I felt like this probably a good time to say my final thoughts. I think we're going to do one more video of the game itself, where I spend all of my items and stuff, and kind of look at my badge list and, um, I don't know, anything else that is interesting to look at now that the game is all said and done. And I think that's a good final gameplay video. Uh, and people have been suggesting I use all my stuff. It really is kind of futile to spend all my coins and stuff because it's not going towards anything. Um, but I have it, so I might as well just spend it and see if I get anything cool. I don't know. Well, we're about to finish this stage here. Another one which is like, you're not going to run out of capsules, especially if you're bringing in Mario. Um, and I just have that barrel, the barrel in the corner has a blue coin in it, and then that final um, virus that I just cleared as well. And we're going to get our medal here. I kind of wish I would cleared it earlier in the day so I had a lower medal, but 683 is pretty good I guess. And that's it. That was the final level of the game ever. Now is my time to say thank you guys so much for watching. Any videos that you watch of this series, I appreciate it so much. And if you're here for the final one specifically, you didn't watch any other ones, that's okay too. I really appreciate it. There's the final screen one more time. You can see all the doctors we collected along the journey. Thank you. And goodbye.